Hey there, and welcome to Large Format Friday. I'm your host, Matt Barash. If this is the first time you're stopping by the channel, there's a playlist of our entire second season of LFF. And if you haven't subscribed yet, each and every Friday, we're gonna be here and we're gonna be talking about something large format. It's a field work day, and I'm here at, well, not quite here yet, but I'm at Christmas Rock State Nature Preserve. This is a little bit north of some of the other places we visited in the Hocking Hills region, and sorry, I gotta get hiking. I got a long walk ahead of me, and I don't wanna miss all this early morning light, so let's head out there. Oh, ready for a hike. Did I mention this was a long hike? Because this is a long hike. We're, we're not even halfway there yet. One of the main reasons I like this hike, and I've done it several times before, is it's equal parts hike and equal parts photography. I'm not anticipating really great art, but I am anticipating a good amount of exercise. Oh. Okay, now the hike's starting to get a little vertical. Here we go. Oh, okay, going this way. We are almost at the top. Okay, so we're here at the overlook, finally. You can see the sun is peeking up a little bit. It just popped over the tree line. We do have a fair amount of wind today. The good news is daylight. I'm shooting 100 speed film. Shouldn't be a problem, but we've got some, uh, some extra sturdiness on the tripod just in case. Let's start really wide. So for the warm-up shot today, we're not gonna try anything too crazy. I'm just gonna do some straight on from this overlook. I'm getting a good amount of sky, lots of foreground. Just, I love how the sunlight is backlighting uh, these front pine trees here, and also just kind of giving me this neat little golden glow on the trees that are just immediately uh, next to the rock. So it gives me some cool textures and kind of leads into this little shadow in the valley here. Somewhat dark. Okay, so we've got a quarter of a second at 32, which sounds about right. We're shooting into the sun, so we're backlit, but we're also trying to recover as much detail uh, as possible out of those, uh, those highlights. We're not gonna try and blow it too much, but I wanna make sure we get all that shadow information in there. Okay. Nice, right over here. See if we can wait for this wind to calm down just a smidge. Only downside about a moderately windy day is it's more than moderate when you have a big old camera. Yes. Another shot here I'm always trying to make happen is this, uh, is this really gnarly tree right here. It's got some awesome shape to it. 
Uh, and during the sunrise, it's backlit, but I'm not afraid of that. I'm really just trying to accentuate the shape so that light coming in from behind uh, will really shape it. And it gives me a sense of depth because I've got the rocks uh, and trees that are kind of glowing behind it as well. It's really just a matter of positioning with my wide lens so I don't get that sun poking through and really giving me some uh, glare. I'm picking the tone on the tree here, placing that. Um, that's like just just south of middle gray, so I'm going to call it somewhat dark. All right, so second shot here. I've got a second at 32, so keeping relatively the same f-stop, but I am backlit now, so I'm going to need a little bit more exposure. One Mississippi. So I'm going to try one more shot, uh, and for this one, I knew I was coming here today. I've been here before. I knew I kind of wanted to do the shot that I'm doing, so I brought my even wider lens. So I just had the 150 on there, and now I'm putting on my 121. This is a an F8 older Super Angulon, oldie but a goodie. This lens is really finicky. I actually have to have it in uh, in bulb mode to kind of open it up and preview everything but it's not a worry. I just have my lock and cable release, lock it open, and I'll be able to see from there, but it's worth it. It's such a wide field of view. So we're just gonna go ahead and do another one second at F32. Great, lock it down. All right. 1,001. Still more to see of the overlook. Let's head up. Ooh, that's a gust. All right. Well, the wind's picking up. It's a bit of a bummer, but it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna keep chugging along. We've got a quarter second at 32 right now. Nice. All right. Exposure hasn't changed. Still seeing super wide. That tree there, and what if I bring it this way? Bring this up. 
So we're just doing a close detail shot, just getting this lovely backlight illuminating. There's still all of this deep, kind of this blue glow of the shadow of the trees in the valley here. And a little bit of haze from this backlit pine tree, but the pine needles when the sun pokes out, oh, just beautiful. So we're at 22 for our exposure. We're still at that quarter second at 32, but I want to be at 22 now. So we're going to go to an eighth of a second at that 22. And this should give us a pretty nice exposure. Shot is going to look pretty nice with a wide. All right, let's uh, let's meter it out. Oh man! All right, so we're in shade right now. I'm going to want to meter it when I'm in bright light because I want that sun backlighting just a bit and getting some highlights on the snow. Oh, here we go. We got a little bit of sun coming in. Read the sun right off of there. All right, get that sun value. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna place that. I'm gonna place that at very light. Four seconds of 32, there we go. Do a bulb exposure. All right, let's make sure we're all locked down. That's good. Ready? And that's one, that's two, that's three. By the way, sorry today's episode's a little light on instruction. Uh, if you want some specifics on what I'm doing, all of these different operations, I have this episode early on in season one of LFF called The Dance. I recommend checking it out because it outlines every single thing I'm doing right now. Everybody's process for large format has some slight differences to it, but overall, we're doing the same thing. We're putting on a lens, we're opening it up, we're letting light in, focusing, figuring out our exposure, making sure everything's locked down, setting our shutter speed, closing our lens, inserting our dark slide, and taking a shot. And that's just every picture, so it's not just one press, there's many steps to it. And while it can be daunting at first, it's really meditative once you, once you really get into it. Okay, our exposure hasn't really changed. We're kind of doing the same old, same old. Now I'm inserting the dark slide, but I am not gonna pull the slide yet because I still have to set this shutter here. Now this is an old one, it doesn't have a preview lever, so I have to hold it in a bulb position to do that. 32, great. Let's take out our dark slide. The end. Oh, sun's poking into a cloud. We're gonna wait. Here it comes. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. Nice. There we go. Whew. All right, well, that was a pretty productive morning. Not the greatest light ever, but we still had plenty of contrast and, uh, you know, had some cool scenes with that overlook and some of those details. Ooh, all right. Oh, much needed break. Well, overall, not too bad a day. Got plenty of hiking in, whew. About four miles total, a little uphill, a little downhill, walking around, got a little bit wet in the creek there. Yeah, just uh, 
So overall, had a good time. If you have any questions about the large format photographic process, be sure to check out our season one and season two of LFF. If you have any questions after that, you can always feel free to shoot me an email, largeformatquestions at gmail.com. Thanks again for stopping by, and we'll catch you next week for more LFF.